happy Mass Monday. Happy Labor Day. Oh, this is not on right. This is the first time I've tried these. Y'all swear by them, so I'm giving them a try. I don't know if I have them on right, but and I also promised I would try this black stuff. It's Elf Clarifying Charcoal Bubble Mask. All right. Ewey gooey, I'm gonna be. Look like I'm a, trying to be a robber or a, a sniper or something. You know, I guess in the military they put this on their face so that you can't see them at night. Only darker than this. I mean, like more black, black. This is more gray. <laughs> oh, it's turning white because of the bubbles. I expected it to stay really black, but it's kind of turning a, a grayish color because of the bubbles. Not sure how long you're supposed to leave it on. Try not to get it in my hair. But at least with this kind of mask, you can get it all over. With the sheet mask, it always falls off your chin. At least mine does. Right. Well, that was better than I thought it was going to be as far as getting it on. This is like in my eye a little bit. Ugh, there we go. Well, now it's supposed to be up more. Well, I can't get it right. It's either in my eye or too high or too low. If I can see it, I think it's too high. Um, now yeah, let's totally take this off and start over. I think I did something wrong. It's got a wrinkle in it. Hope I hear my grandson coming downstairs. I'm gonna terrify him. The <laughs> uh, dogs have been driving me nuts today. One in and out, in and out, in and out. There used to have more people in the house, but my granddaughter went back to college, and my son and daughter-in-law went on a little little mini vacation trip so it's just my grandson and I so they're like where's all the people let's see how long do we leave this on for oh it's only five to ten minutes I could talk for five to ten minutes no problem <laughs> I'm already into three minutes but I just put it on so that doesn't count what shall we talk about do anything fun Labor Day weekend? Here's Levi. <laughs> it's Mask Monday. I'm not participating. He says he doesn't want to participate. I see there's one lady on there that her nephew, I think, <laughs> does it with her. But other than that, it's all been Mask Monday ladies. <laughs> Um, I have a whole little pile of masks here. I think I'm just going to go in order of the way they're in the pile. So this one looks like it's a, might be a charcoal mask too because it looks back black. This one's or maybe purple sparkly. I don't know. This one's on the top of the pile. So this is next week. I hope it's purple sparkly like that, but I doubt it is. Um, my grandson shut the door. He doesn't want to listen to me ramble. <laughs> Uh, I didn't do anything. I ran Levi around a few places. He's had to, you know, he's in in the theater group at school, but he's like more like a stage manager. He helps build sets and move props and all that kind of stuff. So he was there Friday, part of Friday, and most of all day Saturday helping build a set for a play they're going to do. I'm sure that he'll be doing that like all year because they, I first play I went there was years ago when the kids were get really young was Sound of Music. And I had seen Sound of Music down in, you know, the Dallas Center of Performing Arts. And then this high school, mostly high school, there's some younger kids because, you know, Sound of Music, there's younger kids. Um, production of Sound of Music I thought was better than the one I saw in Dallas. <laughs> I used to have a um, 
it was called summer or something summer concert pass or something like that where I could pick three shows and go down to like the Sunday afternoon matinee where it's cheaper for it wasn't that much you know for go to three shows was seven hundred dollars which is pretty cheap for shows live shows nowadays so, so I went down there for a few years with some friends and we'd go you know like three times during the summer different plays and the, my, my last straw for me it was I think it was Taming of the Shrew which you know Shakespeare and all that and it was a Sunday matinee which is when a lot of kids are there and they had male with male simulated sex on stage and I was like, okay, I'm done. I mean, it was getting a little cruder and a little cruder. I mean, they'd throw this gratuitous stuff in that isn't even part of the plot just to be hip and with it, I guess. I don't know, but that was it for me. I'm like, okay, I'm not coming back. I don't want to don't want to see that kind of stuff. And I'm shocked that they would do that kind of stuff when they know the audience is full of little kids. I was just like, no, mm -mm. they ruined it for me. There's some little local theaters up here I'll go to sometimes because I like live theater. Just guess I'm a prude or old fashioned or whatever, but I don't care what you do with each other. I just don't want to see it. <laughs> That's the main thing. <laughs> um, so I do like live theater. I haven't been in a long time. My granddaughter's best friend is a theater arts student and so we went every year to school to see the place she was in and now she's graduated and under her second year of college so since my grandson's the stage hand I'll probably still go see at least some of them but I probably won't go to as many because I don't know anybody that's actually in the plays although some of his friends probably are going to be in the play because he's in high school now. So I'll probably continue to go at least to a couple of them a year because I, I like live theater. I like musicals, but I don't like musicals where they sing everything. Like, I'm going to the store, I'm walking down the street, you know, just like that. It's like every single thing they're doing or saying they have to sing. No, that's too much. I mean, I like a song thrown in here and there, like a lot of music, like Sound of Music or some of those. But, you know, just where they sing everything, there's no dialogue except singing. I'm just like, nah, that's just not for me. So I, do you like theater? I used to go to live concerts, but I think I'm getting too old for that. They, Everybody stands up and jumps up and down the whole time. And I'm, I don't want to stand for two hours. I'm just, you know, I can, but I prefer not to. <laughs> We've got, we can always tell when it's state fair time in Texas because even if it hasn't all summer, it starts hitting 100 degrees at state fair time. At state fair is usually the end of August, the beginning of September. So I think this is the last week, maybe even the last day for the state fair. Um, and I used to go, but it's gotten ridiculous. I mean, even if you get it, because they'll, they'll give out free tickets to get in pretty easily. You get a free ticket to get in. But then you get in there and it's like $15 for a corn dog or something. It's like everything you do costs a four. You can... If you took a family of four of the state fair, you could easily spend several hundred dollars. It's nuts how expensive it is. I used to, when I lived in Sacramento area, I worked at this company and they would have their company picnic at this park that was right next to the state fair and next to a water park. And we would get barbecue and stuff at the company picnic. And then, um, they would, we would get free entrance into the state fair and the water park. So my sister would go with me and we'd send the four boys off to the water park and her and I would go bum around the state fair and, you know, look at the exhibits and all that kind of stuff. So I just did that for years. That was always a lot of fun. But then I got laid off from that company and then I moved out here. So all that went away. <laughs> but my sister and I, we lived next door to each other. We bought a duplex together. We had four boys. Three of them were kind of bunched together the same age, and then one was, like, way behind everybody else. I mean, everybody was five to seven years older than him, so he was behind everybody. But still, we used to do things. We used to t go water rafting, because Sacramento's got two big rivers, so we'd go water rafting. So we did all kinds of fun stuff when I lived in Sacramento. 
I don't know. I miss kind of the fun stuff, but I, you know, don't think I can do some of the stuff I used to be able to do. That's one of the things of growing old. You, Some people do, but I guess not me <laughs> because I've got a bunch of health issues and all that. But I know people that are very athletic and still like my ex-husband, he's older than me and he still runs marathons sometimes or at least half marathons. So you can be really active when you're old. <laughs> I'm just not. I should be more active. I should get out there and swim, but I'm really tired today. I usually stay up really late and then I'll sleep in till like nine or 10, but I had to get up and give the the doggy his medicine at seven o'clock the last three days in a row. So no sleeping in for me, even though I still stayed up late. <laughs> I started watching again. It's on, what's it on? Amazon Prime. It's I am, I am BD, I think, through Amazon Prime. Um, I'm watching the old, remember 24 with Keith of Sutherland. And the premise was, the 24 episodes of the season covered a 24 hour period and each hour long episode, well, with commercials, it was less than an hour, but they pretend like it was an hour. Hour long episode would cover one hour in this day. And I mean, I'm on maybe hour nine and there's already been like three people got kidnapped. One got run over by a car. Uh, several people got killed. There's been an underground, I mean, not underground, but a, a mole in the counterterrorism unit that was working for the bad guys. And she got caught, so she killed herself. I mean, this is all, all this, it's like there's a cliffhanger every single episode. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to get through that. They, they almost rescued the 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 main character, Keith Sutherland's wife and daughter have been kidnapped. And so this whole episode, they've been kidnapped and he finally found him and connected up with him and now they're trying to escape and getting shot at and the truck they were in blew up and they're running out in the woods and I'm like I, I just can't do it anymore I'm going to sleep so I don't know know what happened I'll have to watch today to see if they made it out safe which of course they would because he's he's the star <laughs> kind of like Kiefer Sutherland he's also in um designated survivor which is you know probably 20 years after 24 so he looks really young in 24 but it was a long time ago they've got flip phones did you notice i've seen commercials do you notice flip phones are coming back it's like a flip phone where it's like your screen here and your keyboard here or you can open it out this way and make your screen be the whole thing to watch a movie or something and then you can close it up like a flip phone so flip phones are back I think I don't think Apple's doing it. It's um, Galaxy or one of those um, Android phones. But I just thought that was funny. It's like what goes around comes around. There's nothing new under the sun. Is the I don't know if that's in the Bible or where that is, but you know, something that's like bell-bottom pants went away. Thank goodness. But you know, now they're creeping back again. <laughs> I don't know. I tried on a pair of baggy jeans and it's supposed to be in, but I just don't like the baggy look on me. I'm still clinging to my skinny jeans. I might try a straight leg, but I can't do the baggy and the flare, the really big flare bell bottoms. Mm -mm. Alrighty, it has been 13 minutes, so it's been well past the 10. I don't know that what these do, but they feel pretty good. Now I got to get all this charcoal bubble stuff off. Sometimes I plan out stuff for Mass Monday, what I'm, you know, like a little quiz I'm doing or something. And sometimes I just ramble on. <laughs> what do you like better? Do you like it when I have it planned out and have a, um, you know, like a set of questions or, you know, would you rather, those kinds of things? Or do you like it when I just ramble? <laughs> Alrighty. Um... We finally, I finally got unstuck. I was stuck at 492 for like a month and I finally got unstuck and now I'm at 495. So I'm only five, five, five away from my 500 giveaway. So if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you. 
um, to help me get up to that 500. I love it when I watch, I watched, I think it was Jules and Jules and M I watched. It's J-E-W-L-Z and M. And one of her subscribers, that was a winner for one of her giveaways, um, mentioned that she had come from me. So I love it when some when somebody I send you to that you actually go to and subscribe to them and help them out. That makes me happy. I want everybody to grow. All right. It's still pretty wet. I'm probably going to get all the bubbles, but now I got to get some makeup on and cover all my dark spots and dark eyes and stuff. I look so much better with makeup. If you haven't seen it, we did a, it's been a couple of months ago now. We did a collab where we did a half face where I would made up one side and the other side I kept like this. And then this side was uh, pretty and made up. And you can see what a difference it makes, you know, especially on me where you've got like super dark circles under your eyes and some age spots and stuff. If you don't use concealer, yeah, you look pretty ragged. <laughs> Look a lot better with a little bit of makeup on. Even if I'm not going anywhere, I at least want to put some highlighter and not highlighter, concealer and cover up these big old dark spots under my eyes. I am tired, so they're a little worse than normal. They're really black looking look like somebody punched me in the eye. But that's because I haven't been getting enough sleep. You get enough sleep, they get a little better, but they still have dark baggy. I've always had these. It has nothing to do with age. It's just some kind of hereditary gene thing where, you know, even at a young, as a young person, I had dark circles under my eyes. Just one of them things God gave me. I have some things God gave me I'm not so happy with like that. But some things like one thing God gave me that I'm so appreciative of when I, especially when I talk to other people and say other people, is he gave me this really even keel temperament. I may not get these super highs like some people, but I don't get those low lows either. I'm just pretty laid back. Most stuff doesn't upset me. Once in a while I get ranting and raving about something, but for the most part, God gave me this nice even keeled laid back temperament and I'm very thankful for that. It just it makes my life easier all around. Well, happy Mass Monday. Happy Labor Day. Um, hope you all have a good week. And we will talk again soon.